Tens of thousands of people in and around Jackson, Mississippi, are going on now their third week without water. That's right, no water for more than two weeks. So let's call some attention to this. Mississippi State Representative Ronnie Crudup Jr. He also owns a daycare center in Jackson, which had to close. We spoke by phone yesterday, sir. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. When we talked, I couldn't believe it because some people had pinged me on Twitter. They saw me in Texas, and I wanted to reach out. Is it true that there are still tens of thousands of people that are trying to flush their toilets with whatever might be left of melted snow? That is absolutely true. Uh, we still don't have water. Uh, I had a little bit of water that came to my house on yesterday, but today it went back down, the trickle. You know, thank God for the city providing some water trucks to be able to get flushable, um, you know, water. But, you know, it rained today, so we're dependent on rainwater and things of that nature to try to get some water at this current moment. So I want to be clear. We were just in Texas. We're talking about the power, power grid. You had power, but it was the weather that caused the problem. I think Texas probably stole the attention, which is why, thank you, sir, for coming on. Has there been any indication of when the water is going to return? You can't bathe. You can't cook. Restaurants are closed. Hotels are sold out. What's happening in Jackson on the ground right now? So right now, it's kind of a, you know, every man for himself. Um, you know, the city has stepped in. We've had the, uh, the state government has stepped in. FEMA is helping out. But at this current moment, people are trying to provide water bottles. Uh, you know, like I said, tanker trucks are coming in full of water to try to provide flushable water and water to be able to hopefully uh, wash your dishes with. But people are kind of, you know, trying to find ways to eat, you know, in survive mode at this current moment. Uh, but... You know, we're doing the best we can on the ground. A lot of folks are really stepping up to the punch. You know, the churches, city council folks, uh, businesses, everybody's doing their part to make sure the people survive and have what they need. But And I want, I want to lay this out for our audience, okay? Jackson, you know, it, not big on a national scale, but one of the biggest cities in Mississippi. You can't cook without water for the most part. You, so you try to go out to eat, but a lot of the restaurants are closed because they also may not have water or they've got multi-hour waits. You want to go to a hotel, but the hotels are all booked up, or maybe you can't afford it because getting a hotel for two weeks is expensive. Yeah, it's that's a dire situation, Representative. Has there been any indication of when this might get resolved? Well, from what we heard from the mayor and the city engineer on yesterday, it may be you know toward the end of the week before it gets resolved. Uh, the problem is the date kind of keeps changing, and no disregard to them, but you know this thing has totally just shut us down. Uh, we've had water outages before, boil water notices, but nothing of this magnitude. And so, like I said, we're trying to, you know, find ways to get the uh, best we can to uh, make things happen. Yeah. You know, the local YMCA's have stepped up, offer people to come take showers, neighbors are helping neighbors to help folks take baths. Uh, my family and myself, uh, I sent them to a friend's house in Brandon today because my kids are still in school virtually, uh, but my family needed showers. So, like I said, people are really stepping yeah. up to the point punch and making things happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.